Now that you've got ViewRoom installed, let's take a few minutes to learn the basics so that you can get started hosting video conferences right away. We'll start with hosting a ViewRoom call, then move on to slide sharing and desktop sharing. When ViewRoom is running, the ViewRoom icon appears in your computer's taskbar. You'll find it here on a Windows machine and here on a Mac. When the view room icon is blue, you're ready to video conference. The icon turns red if there is no network connection, or if Skype is not running, or if you haven't given view room's Java component permission to use Skype. After you install view room, you'll see a prompt to allow Java to use Skype. Click Yes. To manually configure Skype to give view room a permission on a Mac, go to Skype's account menu and choose Manage API Clients. Select View Room, click Change, select Allow this application to use Skype, click Done, and then again click Done. To do the same thing on a PC, open Skype's Tools menu and choose Options. Then choose Advanced. Click Manage Other Programs Access to Skype. If Viewroom does not have permission to use Skype, click Change. Select Allow this program to use Skype. Click OK. Click OK again and then click Save. In order to use Viewroom, you've got to make your Skype status available. If you're offline or invisible, the view room icon will turn red to show that view room is inactive. Changing your Skype status to available will bring view room back online. If you have a network connection and Skype is running, and you've given Java permission to use Skype, and the view room icon is still red, click the view room icon to open the pop up menu and select Restart. With the view room icon in its blue ready state, you're ready to video conference with any of your Skype contacts who are currently online with their Skype status set to available, which means that their Skype status icon appears green like this. To start an instant video conference, open your Skype contacts list, hold down the control key, and click up to seven available contacts. Then right click, or on a Mac, control click, any of the names, and when the pop-up menu appears, choose Call the Group. A pop-up appears asking whether you want to start View Room. Click Yes. If your conference attendees have the View Room plugin installed and running, a View Room window will automatically appear on their desktop and they'll join the video conference immediately. If your conference attendee does not have the View Room plugin installed, they will receive a chat message from you in their Skype chat window containing a view room invitation link that looks something like this. Sometimes conference attendees who are unfamiliar with Skype have trouble locating the invitation link. The link always appears in the Skype chat window corresponding to the view room meeting host. Here's a foolproof way to bring that window to the front. Go to the Skype view menu and choose contacts to display the contacts list. Locate the name of the view room meeting host right-click, or if you're on a Mac, control-click the name, and choose Send IM. Skype will immediately open the chat window containing the invitation link. All your attendees need to do now is click the blue link, which will launch their default web browser and load the View Room session. It takes a little longer to join a View Room conference if the plugin isn't installed, because in that case, the web browser will have to download the View Room application every time. So we encourage meeting participants to install the free View Room plugin at www.vview.tv slash vviewweb slash downloads slash viewroom.jsp for the best and fastest View Room experience. If you have View Room installed but have not yet set it up, or if a participant is joining your video conference in a browser window, another step may be needed to configure the webcam. Click the Setup icon as shown here. In the Configuration pop-up, select Allow and Remember, then click Close. 
Click Next to go to the Camera Setup pop-up, then click Change Camera. Select the camera you want to use from the list, then click Close. Finally, click Exit to complete the setup process. If you or any of your meeting attendees have audio problems, remember that all of the audio in a view room meeting is handled by Skype, including the mute function. If you need help setting up Skype audio, consult the Skype help pages at www.skype.com under the support heading. Remember that only one application can use your computer's webcam at any given time. So if you have a Skype video call open when you start a view room call, Skype won't let view room access the video stream. Never try to initiate a view room video conference by selecting start video call from Skype. You want to start a regular Skype voice call and then say yes to the view room prompt so that your video stream goes through view room. If you want to add another participant to a video conference that's in progress, right click that person in your Skype contacts list and choose Add to Conference. During your video conference, the View Room console provides a common workspace where you and your meeting attendees can see one another while you talk. You can also share PowerPoint or Adobe Acrobat files from your computer by uploading them to View Room. It can take several minutes for View Room to upload a file and prepare it for viewing, so we recommend you upload files before your meeting begins. To upload a file, click the View Room icon on your computer's taskbar and choose My Portal. Log in and then click My Folder. Any files you've previously uploaded appear in the area labeled My Folder. To upload a new file from your computer, click My Computer and use your computer's file navigator to locate and select the file you want. You can delete files you no longer need from your View Room portal by selecting one or more files and then clicking Delete File. During your View Room video conference, you access the file sharing function by clicking Slides at the bottom of the View Room window. If you find that you need to discuss a file you have not previously uploaded, you can upload a file directly to your video conference. To do this, click My Computer and then navigate to the file you want. Select the file and click Open. After View Room processes the file, select the file and click Add to Event. You can navigate by clicking the thumbnail view of the slide you want to display or using the View Room navigation controls at the top of the slide presentation. You can also hide the thumbnails to make more room for the slide content. View Room also lets you share your computer desktop with your meeting attendees. This is handy if you want to discuss a software program running on your computer or visit a website as part of your discussion. To share your desktop, click Screen. By default, View Room shares the entire desktop, but you could use the screen sharing controls to adjust a viewing area box if you want to share only a portion of the screen. If you need more help setting up or running View Room, visit our product support pages on the vview.tv website or contact VView Technical Support by sending email to support at vview.tv.